Why well, hello there, and it's today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a catapult and a simple set of scales in Build a Boat for Treasure. Now, I make these scales to to figure out what, what block is heavier, gold or ti titanium, or which is useful for measuring out blocks' weights. Now, if you unanchor the scale, it tips over, and the block that's lowered down is the t titanium block, as it states here, which which means that it is the heavier block. And if we remove those two blocks, it will eventually bring itself back to that natural position. Now this is a catapult, and using the information from, from the scales, I figured out that titanium was the heaviest block, and then I decided to use that inside of a catapult. You do have to manually deploy yourself using a button, but it will send you quite far. The only issue is, it is a one-time use thing, so every time you want to reload it, you will have to go into your saves and uh, reload that save. And I'm going to uh, cut here, temporarily, because I am very far away from where I need to be right now. Okay, so the materials you will need for both of these builds would be some butter or glue blocks, which are these blocks that disappear whenever you click on them, and that would be for detaching your seat on the catapult, chairs for passengers if you want to make a big platform that launches lots of people on the catapult, a driver's seat to detach yourself on the catapult, lots of light blocks because it makes the scales nice and easy to balance and also on the catapult makes it a lot a lot easier to, to fire things if all, all of the catapult is nice and light then lots of heavy blocks this is for the catapult because we we want nice heavy blocks at the end of the catapult so they get dragged down by gravity and launch your chair really far and then hinges, just so that the blocks can rotate in place. And then screwdriver tool to anchor and unanchor. And you might want to have scale tool since it is very useful at scaling, scaling objects. And then, if if you want, and I, I don't use this much for this this build, but if you want to correct errors and other things. You could always use the trowel tool, which you can use to move, rotate, and copy objects about. And yeah, so these are all the materials you need, and I'm just gonna begin the tutorial in a few seconds. Now, so you can decorate these builds up however you want, but for for the scales, what I generally like to do is I just like to have this big, big board that, that's nice to see things on and then make it a colour that's not the default colour just so you can see what's going on. You then want to place a hinge, probably at the top bit, and then in plus you want anchor block on for the block coming off of the hinge and then for the rest of the blocks you just want to turn anchored off and build out like this and for for this bit I would recommend a uh, ma match rotation if it's unanchored but if you're just building it like it is then keep it keep match rotation off as it can do some unusual things. Right, so you should have this shape, which sort of looks like an N. And then at the bottom of this shape, you just want some wood blocks to add some weight, because plastic has no weight whatsoever. So by adding 
A small amount of wood, it just helps it recenter itself whenever you remove the blocks. And then you want to build some prongs outwards, like so. And those prongs are where you're going to place your blocks. And that should be the scales done. And before we test it, I'm going to make a, a save slot. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going with the extraordinarily creative name of Tutorial for Stuff. Name it something you can remember. I'll probably remember this name. And then now we have a save of it. You can unanchor the one block that we anchored using the screwdriver tool. Then use two blocks you want to find the weight differential of. Actually, before before placing both the blocks, anchor it, then place the blocks just so that it's not really difficult. At this point, match rotation I would recommend it to be on because of when it resets, it won't always reset the same way. Now I was actually genuinely curious about grass to sand weight and sand seems to be just a tiny bit heavier than, than grass. Now this, this will swing for quite a while, so uh, some, something I normally do is just um, add pistons or like a block to, to slow it to slow it down. And then if you want to weigh different objects, such as trying to find out what it, what is heavier out of the obsidian block or titanium block, you can do that right like so. And that, that just shows that titanium is slightly heavier than obsidian. I'm going to anchor it so it doesn't keep swinging about all over the place. Place titanium and place gold this time. And the result's pretty much the same. And I'm going to just place a block there to, to get it swinging. Yep, the results are exactly the same. So go uh, gold is lighter than titanium in this game. And then we can, for example, um, now curious, anchor that, put obsidian there, unanchor. And it's just swinging there as though there weren't really many waves. So gold and obsidian are actually the same weight in this game, which I didn't actually know. Alright, and I'm going to cut to building the catapult. Alright, so the catapult, I would like to begin building it at the edge of this, this plot. So what I'm just going to do is take a block I have a large amount of and then place it in a row like this. And this this is important because it gets out it it must be like this to get out of the way of the big swinging weight. If you remember from the catapult at the beginning of the video, the large weight uh, was was thinner than the actual support which actually uh, means that it can pass through and fling you further. I'm just dragging these pillars upwards to save a bit of time, but you can just place the blocks manually yourself. And then at the top of both of the pillars, you want a hinge, and I am unsure of whether they are the same same level, so I'm just going to get some blocks, drag them over, oh, I forgot to turn anchor block on, which is, you need an anchor block whilst constructing all of this, right, okay, so my pillars are not the same height, but now they are, which is quite useful information. I can place a hinge there, drag the block across, and we've got this block between these two hinges. So then we want to approximately find the middle, and this doesn't have to be exact. So 
so you can approximately find the middle like so then build a short way outwards this way to attach the weight to and then a large amount further this way to attach a seat to because the longer the longer arm on a catapult the more power and the further you're going to get when when flinging now at this end of the catapult butter block which is by default attached to my seat over over at the tutorial bit which i am now going to disconnect and you should when placing a seat on top have that seat automatically connect to the butter block there are butter blocks over there at the tutorial area which it has also which it has also picked up on. So I'm just going to unhook those, like so. That should only be hooked up to that butter block. Now, on the end here, we're going to add a very big weight to make sure it is within the width of the support so they can keep swinging through and give a lot more power. And you just want as many heavy blocks as you can and you can use gold, obsidian, but I prefer titanium because it is actually the heaviest block. Now this is one time use, so make sure you save it and I would recommend at this point loading it as well because sometimes placing it and loading it are actually slightly different. So now what you want to do is grab yourself a jetpack or just pillar up with truss blocks that you can climb. Sit in this seat, select all, turn anchor off and this is going to require a good bit of reaction but you want to press F at the peak of the rotation. Like there was probably not great but it still flung me and yeah so I'm now going to, in editing, cut. Right, so I should be back after the cut. And something that I actually did on my prototype catapult to see whether this was worth making into a video, which is the one you saw at the beginning, was I took the catapult and rotated it by a few degrees. And then I moved it back onto the post there. And then you also, just just in case Fool the Boat for Treasure physics don't act as expected, place some blocks into place to just generally attach it, like so. And then you want to save it again. Hop back in the seat. And, and once again, this is going to require good reactions, which I'm probably not going to have because I'm recording. Anchored off and release. Right, I, I definitely released a bit too late because I have gotten a lot of further launches than that. But it is pretty powerful. And I believe that the more weight you add, not only the harder it is going to be to control, but also the the better, like, the further you will get because there is more weight, there would be more weight there. Meaning that, the, that it, it is more powerful. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, short, short uh, tutorial that I, that I just whipped up together to, to uh, show you about different like how to make some scales to find different weights of blocks and also how to make a catapult which is is quite fun for just launching yourself across the map there we go i got a good a good release that time and now right uh, thanks for watching this uh, short tutorial, it's definitely shorter than all my other ones. Uh, uh, click on whatever happens on the end screen here to subscribe, because 
these tutorials are never regular, and I think the last time I posted was a couple months ago, and then the time before that was just one month, and then I've uploaded in periods of weeks before. So subscribe so that you never miss an upload, because I don't have a schedule. And yeah, thank, thank you, thank you for watching this, this video. Goodbye.